Hello, this is Audrey from Different Results. I am here to do my budget for the month of November. So let's get started. So we're going to see how fast this goes. I think I'm going to use all the same stickers today. Instead of doing different colors. So actually, let me see something. You know, I am going to... Look at the ones for last month. What color is this? This is green. So I'm going to use the green. So we have the school. So I have two debts, guys. That is the school and the, um, in my car. And then the rest is just the regular bills, which... So, I'm just filling them out in. If I can get rid of some of this, it would be so nice. But, just, you know there. Okay, so we, let's see, two, four, six, seven. So, okay, so we have... The car at the first. Hmm, I should have wrote that the other way. We have okay, the school at the first, the car at the first. Then we had that's crooked. Health was at the third. I missed I got that changed to the twenty fifth. No, that was the 24th. But I'm quite sure it's going to get done on that Friday because the 24th is a Saturday. And then we got rent, which is due by the 5th. And we have Netflix due by the 15th. Some of the stuff is coming out automatically. Light and gas, I believe the 18th. 17 and then we have AT&T due by the 18th so these bills even though they're on the weekend I'm quite sure they're going to take them out by the um by the, the you know throughout the week so we have those done so bills that most of this is uh, coming out automatically. The one thing I do, I'm missing something. Automatic, automatic, automatic. No, everything is automatic. So the only thing I would have to do is tides. And you know what, guys? I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking on tides. I need to do better with my tides. Maybe I'll have some more income, some more money coming in, right? Okay, AT and T, I do pay them. Um, that's not automatic tides. And then sinking funds, sinking funds, I'm gonna put that down. And depending on what how what my money is this month depends on if I'm gonna even do a sinking fund. Um, Cause I I do have more more things going on. My rent went up seventy five dollars, a whole seventy five dollars, guys. And then we have the uh, car and the insurance. Insurance I gotta add that on there. That'll be due by the seventeenth of every month. That's an, I forgot about that. And I usually pay my insurance by the first by. The, at the end of the year, when I get my taxes, but because of the different changes, um, I'll have to pay it month to month. So, and I think that's it. And then we have so we have that done. We got that filled in. Expenses. I want to do expenses. I do it 
in my head. Or, you know, sometimes on a piece of scrap paper, but I don't do it on here. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I haven't done it yet. And I start and don't finish. Sometimes the overtime, I be tired, so I don't even finish because I be tired and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that. So I'm... Get, okay, guess what, guys? I filled out. I had. I filled out an application at uh, one of the big hospitals here in um, Wisconsin, and I forgot I filled out an application and I had an interview. So I'm hoping that things went well, and I'm hoping that I get this job. Because if I get this job, I'm going to be like the happiest person in the world for real, and I'm gonna keep the job I am I'm at to uh, put, uh, because I won't be working weekends, and that'll be new, that'll be different, because you know what, in healthcare, you are almost always going to work the weekends, so I already told my job that, you know, I'm expecting to get this, um, I'm expecting to get this job at this hospital, so if I get this job at this hospital, I will, um, I will drop my hours down to the weekend, and every penny I get from that job, I will be doing, I will be, um, putting every penny from that job on, uh, the new job, I mean, on my debt. I hope I spelled November right. Okay, it is what it is. We're just going to get this done. Okay, so income. My income, guys, is all over. Like, literally all over. So... I don't know, it's a lot going on right now, but this, what the, the Bible said, this too shall pass, right? This, let's see. And you know, I'm just going to make this kind of plain. I'm not going to do um, the, a lot of the, um, Bills. Let's see, we got the rent. We have AT&T. We have ties. I need to do better with ties, for real. Light and gas. My light and gas was, oh my God, the light and gas was almost $100 less, guys. That was... When I saw that, I was super excited. Though we know it's not gonna last because Wisconsin, we get <laughs> a lot of snow. So let's see, I'm missing something. Rent, <clears throat> oh, car insurance. Car insurance, you know what, when I did um, in sports, when I did the, um, when I was saving for my son money for uh, a down payment on a car or towards a car, I did not think about the fact that, um, I did not think about the fact that my insurance and stuff was going up. I didn't, I didn't contemplate, I did not think about that at all. Let's see, four fifty. We're gonna do four fifty estimated for AT and T. We're gonna do three hundred for light and for uh, tides. We're gonna do two hundred for uh, light and gas. A hundred for health insurance, and I think health insurance is gonna change because they keep sending me um, things in the mail, ask questionnaires which I'm not gonna answer because I don't. Yeah, two thirty for car insurance. 
sports oh my goodness is 119 i forgot now when i signed up for the sports back in um july i want to say july i tried to get out of it and they said if i in order to do that i would have had to pay the whole thing down i was so upset but it's like what can i do so I mean, it is what it is. You know what? I'm going to put some color on this paper. Let me see. I don't know. Got these from the dollar store, guys. Seven of them. For, I don't even know how this one. I can figure out where it start. Oh, there we go. Starting in. Put a little color to it, right? Mm, not a lot, but a little. And then I'm gonna do that. So for that, we only have we have school, which is 300, and then we had a car, which is 373. It's 372 and some change. We might as well leave it at that. Which. Totals up to 673. You know what? I didn't put that down there. Um, let's see. Okay. 875 plus 450. Oh, I'll be glad when them phones go away. 300 plus 200 plus 100 plus 230. 119 plus 1577 equals that's $2,289.77 and then we're done with that But I gotta, I gotta make some changes, guys, because this is a bit much. And I would like to get that job. That's kind of crooked. That's... Much better. And then, we'll, okay, with savings, we're gonna do... For savings, I'm gonna put the minimum, which is the 280 for my uh, sinking funds. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not, but we're gonna put that down. And then we're gonna do our combined. Oh, hold on. You know what? I gotta put my cash envelopes up here. Cash envelopes. And for cash envelopes, we have food. Food, we have. 370, let me see, I'm going to do 370 divided by 2, which would be uh, 185. Then we're going to do, what we're going to do, gas at 200, 200 divided by 2, because we have two checks in a month, so we're going to divide that by 2, give us uh, $100. Each check were okay, and then we're doing fast food 
at a hundred dollars divided by two we're at fifty dollars a pay period then we have let's see allowance i'm gonna drop this allowance i'm gonna do allowance 200 divided by two is a hundred let's see one two miscellaneous miscellaneous is what am i gonna do for miscellaneous miscellaneous we're gonna do 150 divide that is 75 one two three four five am i missing something and then my son hair so i get his hair done that's ten dollars Uh, trying to put a little life to this paper even though I really didn't want to or feel like it so that's 375 no 370 plus 200 plus 370 200 and that's 300 one 150 that's 10 and that would bring me to a total of 1030 okay then we're gonna of course divide that by two um divided by two we're gonna bring when i go to the bank i'm getting 515 okay so let's Combine everything. So that's one, two, three, four. So we're combining. So that would be expenses. That's $2,289.77. Then we have cash envelopes at $1,030. Then we have $673 and then the $280. So we got $2,289. Seven seven plus one zero three zero plus six seventy three plus two eighty brings us to a total of four thousand two hundred seventy two dollars and seventy seven cent. Now let me see something. If I do four thousand. 7277 seven, minus, what can I, if I take away the sinking funds, 280, that will bring it down to $3,992.77. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Um, maybe I can get her dad to do the sports. Minus the one nineteen. That'll be three thousand eight hundred seventy-three dollars and seventy-seven cents. <laughs> Look at me trying to paint this. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Can you get rid of? No, there's like literally nothing else I can get rid of. I mean, I could play with the tides, but, and the cash envelopes, of course I can play with that. But let me tell you guys, I did really good for the month of October for cash envelopes because I cooked several, about nine or 10 meals and froze them. So each meal, 
gave me two two mi two days, right? And then I bought junk food for the days when I did the doubles, like hot pockets, you know, stuff like that. That what is that processed food? Uh, and so when I did a double, we did that versus eating a bunch of junk. So I did really good with the cash envelope. So this is my budget for the month of um, November. I was going to say August. Wow. So thank you for watching my video. Hope it wasn't too long. Many blessings.